For our next item in the Sunday six, we're going to keep it right there on Saturday. That Bills Chargers game was noteworthy on both sides of the ball. As usual, we like to spotlight a moment, a decision, a performance by a coaching staff in the NFL. And even in a losing record, we need to talk about Chargers interim head coach Giff Smith and this week's coaching spotlight. It is brought to you by Verizon. It's the official private wireless network of the NFL's coach to coach communication. How could we not? talk about the job done by gift Smith. I know that moral victories aren't a thing in the NFL. I'm going to make a Christmas exception here for the first time head coach. Who's never even been a coordinator, by the way, gift Smith coaching football since 1991. He's been in the NFL since 2010, 13 years in the league. He's been coaching the chargers defensive line and linebackers since 2016 guy had worked under three different chargers head coaches before he became the interim head coach himself just nine days ago. And what does he do? He pushes the Buffalo bills to the brink. And that's just a week and a half after this team allowed 63 points to the Las Vegas Raiders, a game where we knew at halftime that Brandon Staley's time in charge of that team was probably done. They rebound the next week. They were two touchdown underdogs at home. They hold the Bills to 335 yards, 24 points. They led the game for most of the fourth quarter. Remember, settled for too many field goals, unfortunately, but they led the game right up until the final 30 seconds. Tyler Bass's go-ahead field goal puts the Bills on top, and it stays that way. On paper, maybe it's, it's not all that impressive. Chargers had just 273 total yards of offense. Too many field goals. I get it. And yet... 22 points is actually the Chargers' highest output in six weeks. All the way back to that 41-38 loss to Detroit six weeks ago, this team had been struggling to score points, whether they're losing in Green Bay, whether they're winning games 6 nothing in ugly, ugly fashion against New England. It hasn't been pretty. This is the best that they've played. And to do it against a red-hot Bills team with a phenomenal quarterback in Josh Allen, I get that they lost. I still think it's really impressive. and. It's it's a forgettable moment in a forgettable Chargers season. This will go down as a disappointment for them. They're mathematically eliminated. The goal was to get to the playoffs. But remember, no Justin Herbert, no Keenan Allen, no Joey Bosa. I just think with all of that working against them to hold on until the final seconds against the Bills, thought it was really impressive. And, and I think it's important to that organization that the team showed some fight, that they showed some pride. I get it. It is a moral victory. And and it's a bummer that you're hanging your hat on that this holiday season, if you're a chargers fan, but it's a hell of a lot better than the alternative, which is just withering away over these final three weeks. Giff Smith deserves credit for that because we saw what this team looked like last time out 63 freaking points. It could have been really ugly here on Saturday night and it was not. And that is a testament to a job well done from the interim head coach Giff Smith.